Okay, so the reason why I got into this is because I was hurt. So I was an athlete growing up. Um, I, been, I played every sport imaginable. Um, played softball, played volleyball, swam, the whole lines, uh, you name it. In my, for, my freshman year of playing club was my first injury, real injury, where I got hurt with a club coach that decided he was going to be a strength and conditioning coach who had us doing a lot of squats and didn't tell us how to do it and I had my first uh, bulging disc in my back which then related down into my foot. And so I realized that being a tall athlete, being an athlete in and of itself, I'm being asked to do things that my body has no idea how to and I'm not being told why. Uh, when I got into college, I still I worked harder than anybody. I got into college, I played at UCSB, I played in volleyball, and got another injury uh, on my right knee, which was a cyst that had grown because of all of my knees were, my knees had been off posture for a while and off track. Um, had surgery on this one, wasn't necessary, but they ended up doing it anyway. Went over to Spain, played professional, hurt myself on my left knee. They wanted to do surgery on this side. Um, they did, did I need to? No. They couldn't figure out what else was going on, so they did what's called a lateral release, which was a trendy surgery at the moment. What I found is that all of the injuries that I had were not, they weren't, they were structural. They weren't caused by some acute problem that was going on. It was more because it was overuse and it, it just was my body not being in, in proportion. When I got out of it, I went to the doctor and the doctor was basically like, you're 23, you're just gonna have to give it up if it, if it bothers you. And I was like, how's that possible? How is it that of all places that I have to do, I, I'm an athlete and I have to let it go because my knees hurt and it didn't work for me. And then the PT that I was getting at the time was, it was do the exercises and I kept asking why and they were like, because I told you to do the exercises. And so it was in the 90s when this was a time where nobody was doing anything, but it really set me up for, this is happening to me, it's gotta be happening to somebody else. I don't understand the hierarchy that needs to be there. I don't understand the, the we're better than you, like just do it, not telling me, I'm the client. Like, I'm the patient, tell me what's going on. Help me to get better. And yet, I didn't feel like anybody was doing that. I never felt like anybody took their hands and put their arms around me and said, it's going to be okay. I felt like it was up to me to figure out what I was going to do. And I did. And so, in that space of me being 23, 24 years old, I created Protocol Sport Systems, or what was going to be called Protocol Sport Systems in the end. Because I realized that there's a huge missing. And people need a community that they can, um, they can be comfortable at to excel. They need to realize that they are truly the elite, that the people who are working on them are not the elite ones, that they are there to serve them and not be the hero. And that there are so many things that our bodies can teach us if we allow our bodies to. And that was a big, a big aha moment for me. And so for the next 20 years, I started teaching myself and learning myself. I went back to school, I, I, you know, I um, decided to become a therapist so that I could teach people. I had a really giant, what I call Rolodex, which is old people speak for address book, um, that I helped everybody with because I wanted to make sure that they got not just somebody, but the right person for them. Like I went out of my way to make sure that everybody got what they needed. And uh, because it was something that was missing in my world. And so when I created Protocol Sports Systems, I made sure that people get what they need. I think that it's really important for everybody that comes in here to feel like they belong, that they matter, that, that people hear them and they're not giving up on them. Because I think people give up on people too often, so.